Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this lecture, we are going to study the MCQs related to triangle. So the first MCQ is that the two angles of a triangle are 70 degree and 60 degree. What is the third angle? Let me name this angle as A and let me name this angle as B. We, now we know that some of the angles of triangle and let me name this third angle as C. Now we know that some of the angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Which means that this 70 plus 60, 70 degree plus 60 degree plus C must be equal to 180 degree. Now we solve this we get C is equal to 50 degree. So the third angle is going to be equal to 50 degree using the fact that some of the angles of triangle is 180 degree. Next question the two sides of a triangle are 6 cm and 8 cm. What is the possible range of the length of the third side? Now let third side be equal to x. Let me let third side be equal to x. Now we are going to use the important uh, conclusion about triangles. That is the length of the third side of the triangle can never be smaller than the difference of these two sides. So the length of the third side cannot be smaller uh, than the difference of the, these two sides. So it means that the length cannot be smaller than 2 cm because the difference of these two sides is 2 cm. And the length cannot be greater than the sum of these two sides. The sum of these two sides is 14 cm. So length cannot be greater than 14 cm. It cannot be smaller than 2 cm. So to write it in equation form, we can write this as 2 cm must be greater, must be smaller than the length of this side, length of the third side and the length of the third side must be smaller than the 13 cm. So the length of the third side will be greater than the 2 cm but we, it will be smaller than the uh, 14 cm. This is actually length, length of these two sides. The sum of the length of these two sides. This is the difference of the length of these two sides. So whenever we have a triangle the third side is uh, greater than the difference of the length of the other two sides and it is smaller than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides. So the range, possible range of the length of the third side will be from, uh, it, that it will be greater than the 2 cm and it will be less than the 14 cm. Next question, the perimeter of equilateral triangle is 6 cm, find the area. The equilateral triangle has all three sides equal. So its perimeter is actually equal to the sum of three sides which is 3a. So 3a is equal to 6 cm which implies that a is equal to 2 cm. So this is the length of the side. The length of the side is 2 cm. Now we are going to find the area of the equilateral triangle. Now there is a formula for the area of the equilateral triangle which is under root 3 divided by 4 multiplied by the length square. So length here is we have found out the length of the each side which we give has given name a. So a here is 2 cm. So we are going to put our here under root 3 by 4 and square of 2 which is 4. So the area comes, comes out to be under root 3 cm square. So for this you need to remember the formula that the area of equilateral triangle is under root 3 by 4 multiplied by the length of the each side. L is the length of any side. Here L is equal to A. And the perimeter is sum of the sides of the R, the Length of all the sides. Next question. In triangle ABC, if AB is equal to BC and angle B is equal to 70 degree, angle A will be. So because we have AB is equal to BC and these are both equal in length. Now the angles opposite to the equal sides will also be equal. It means that angle A must be equal to angle C. Angle B is equal to 70 degree. Let me write over here. Angle B is equal to 70 degree and we also know that sum of the angles of the triangle is 180 degree. So angle A plus angle B plus angle C is equal to 180 degree. Now because A is equal to C, so I can replace A with this C with A. So this will be angle A plus angle B plus angle A is equal to 180 degree. And angle B is given which is 70 degree. So I can write this as 2 of angle A plus 70 degree is equal to 180 degree which means that 2 of angle A is equal to 110 degree which implies 
that angle A is equal to 50 degree, 50 degree. So the measurement of the angle A will be equal to 50 degree. That's all for today. Thank you.